Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book Universe in X-Men Gold, issue 22. So, we have the Brotherhood, the new Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, which is really just Pyro and this new version of Avalanche, who seems to be a lot more powerful. And uh, Mesmero, you know, typical band of whatever. Anyway, so... Uh, Mesmero is leading this team, and he's a little more powerful than usual, but he's still just Mesmero for the most part. And it turns out that, uh, Nancy, what the heck is her name? Lydia Nance? Anyway, she, um, turns out that she's actually the, the daughter of a mutant, or at least the, the stepdaughter of a mutant. We don't know. We don't know yet. But somebody, some huge father figure in her life was mutant, energetic, or something like that. So this is one of the reasons for her whole hatred of mutants. I still don't forgive her. No. Psh, no uh -uh, not happening. I don't really even care. Anyway, <laughs> the idea is that, you know, this gives us a little bit of backstory about the hatred that she has in her heart for these people. So she actually hired Mesmero to do this stuff. That's the reason why their collars don't work anymore. Uh, or it didn't work anymore when they escaped from prison. That's how they were able to just walk right out of prison. All that good stuff. So not too bad, man. Not too shabby. There's actually a backstory there. So she hired them to act like they were going to hurt her, knowing that the X-Men were going to be heroic, which is just really... Like, that's about as as low a dig as you can go. It's like, okay, these guys, these, these X-Men are clearly the heroes here. So clearly they're going to come and try and save me and rescue me and all that, right? So... I'm just going to hire these actual bad guys come after me so I can smear all mutants. Man, man, like at this point, you got to know that you're the bad guy, right? <laughs> so I love that we've just simply got this mutant hater who seems to be the main overarching behind the scenes bad guy in this series. I love this. This is fantastic. Um, the X-Men have a few more problems, though, because it turns out that Scythian, that god from the Negative Zone, yeah, he's back. He was never really gone. Not really. So they left him in the vortex of the Negative Zone, and now he's back because, you know, he's a god. This is fantastic, and this is a terrifying new threat, but for the most part, they fought gods before. They fought this god before. Let's just see what happens with this. I, I love seeing where this is going to go. Guys, I'm going to give this comic book an A-. minus. Fantastic read. Gold is just... I remember for the longest time, gold was it. And then it just kind of went down because it was merging with blue. And it's just, no. No mergers. Stay away from all that stuff. Let Guggenheim do his thing, man. Let him be him. Fantastic comic book. Great backstories because we're even starting to see this new version of Pyro. He left, literally, left money on the table and walked away from the Brotherhood because he sees that this stuff is wrong. Is he a good guy? Not necessarily, but he's not a bad guy. He's not a totally evil bad guy. and He's not going to work with a mutant hater like Lydia. You know what I'm saying? So let's see if he actually does join the, the X-Men team at one point. That would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. I'm digging it. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.